In today's video, we're diving into the realm of Skyrim to prepare you for 2024. We've gathered a selection of mods that will elevate your Skyrim combat experience to new heights. Get ready for an upgrade that will add depth and excitement to your adventures. Without further ado, let's explore these fantastic mods together. First and foremost is the Open Animation Replacer. This framework plugin effectively manages animations for various condition values and stands out as one of the most versatile and user-friendly frameworks available. Moving on to Ultimate Combat, although it might have faded from some players' memories due to its time, I personally consider it a cornerstone among combat mods. This mod places a perfect emphasis on improving overall game enjoyment and playability by offering a comprehensive combat overhaul. Next up is MCO ADXP. This mod does away with Bethesda's conventional combat system where upper and lower body movements are separate, replacing it with a unified combat attack for all humanoid actors. Currently, numerous movesets based on this have been released, transforming Skyrim's combat 180 degrees, even including magical effects. Given the adoption of this attack style in many modern games, using this mod seems fitting. Next is Precision, a mod that realistically implements the physics of melee combat. This mod implements genuine weapon object-based hit reactions, weapon trails, stops, and camera shakes. This is probably one of the must-have mods because it gets rid of Vanilla's crappy single-frame system and implements realistic attack physics and accurate damage rolls for colliders. Next up is Valhalla Combat. This mod aims to elevate Skyrim's combat to modern standards through features such as time-limited blocking, projectile parrying, staggering and execution, and non-invasive health management. Its primary advantage lies in implementing the most diverse features while keeping the scripts lightweight. This is the mod's greatest strength, and currently, many players are building their setups around it. Next up is Maximum Carnage. This mod enhances your combat experience, making it more visceral and brutal. You can dismember, burn, freeze, or crush your enemies in various ways. The gore effects are triggered when you kill humanoid, falmer, giant, or draugr enemies using power attacks or destructive spells. The outcomes vary depending on the weapon used. For instance, Executing a power attack with a great sword or battle axe while the enemy is standing results in their chest being cleaved while using a mace or war hammer leads to the enemy's head being crushed. This mod aims to add more dynamism to combat with different outcomes based on the weapon employed. Next up is TK Dodge RE. This mod is a prominent addition that enables players to evade enemy attacks through rolling or step dodging. Currently, it boasts the highest number of animations based on this mod, utilizing only SKSE plugin and in-game engine without requiring an ESP. Consequently, it ensures swift responsiveness without script delays. Users can customize the dodge key through the INI file and by installing a prerequisite mod called the iFrame Generator, they can configure invincibility frames. Next up is Dual Wield Parrying SKSE. This mod allows players to block even when in a dual wield stance. It introduces the capability to parry not only with one-handed weapons, but also when holding a magic spell or staff in the offhand. Similar to the previously mentioned mod, it relies solely on SKSE plugin and in-game engine, ensuring no script delays and quick responsiveness. This mod enhances combat diversity and strategic options, providing dual-wield players with an essential tool for defense, extending its benefits to both dual-wield weapon wielders and magic users. Next up is Dynamic Impact Slash Effects X. This mod applies new particle effects when attacking enemies with weapons, enhancing the visual appeal by adding attack effects based on each attack type. 
The effects generated when swinging a sword increase the immersion in combat, and different slashing effects are expressed based on the intensity and direction of the attacks. The visual impact when the blade of the sword makes contact with the opponent enhances the overall sensation of the battle. This mod is recommended for players seeking realistic and dynamic hit effects. Next up is True Directional Movement. This mod enhances Skyrim's third-person gameplay to resemble that of a modern action RPG. It allows the character to pivot in a 360-degree direction during all situations, enabling attacks and defenses based on the movement direction. Additionally, it incorporates features such as target lock-on, target display widgets, precise aiming of arrows or spells even while locked on, and support for mounted combat. With these various functionalities, it stands as a key mod for improving combat dynamics in the game. Next up is SCAR, Skyrim Combo's AI Revolution. This mod transforms Skyrim's combat system into a modern action game's combo attack AI. With this mod, NPCs dynamically check distance, angles, conditions, and choose optimal attack maneuvers during combat. These features aim to implement combo attacks in the style of games like Elden Ring or Dark Souls adding dynamism and challenge to the overall combat experience. Next up is Bow Rapid Combo V3. This mod enhances archery combat by introducing new animations and features. It allows for rapid arrow firing without fully drawing the bow, enables the simultaneous release of two arrows when fully drawn, and adds dynamic elements like tumbling during arrow attacks, enhancing the overall spectacle of archery combat. If you're a fan of archer gameplay, this mod could be a great addition to your Skyrim experience. Next up is Poise, Stagger Overhaul SKSE. This mod completely revamps Skyrim's stagger system by eliminating the random nature of vanilla staggers and introducing a poise system reminiscent of games like Dark Souls. When used in conjunction with modern stagger lock, it removes all underwhelming stagger animations from vanilla, leaving only the poise stagger effects, enhancing the overall realism and immersion of combat. Next up is Dynamic Block Hit. This mod displays different block hit animations when blocking regular and power attacks, causing the character to be pushed back slightly. It ensures a considerable level of naturalness by featuring distinct animations for each weapon, making the combat experience feel more realistic. And that wraps up our journey through the world of Skyrim mods aimed at enhancing your combat prowess in preparation for 2024. If you found these suggestions helpful or have any other mods you'd like to share, drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on our future Skyrim adventures. Until next time, happy modding and may your travels in Skyrim be ever thrilling.